What is the status of our streams and rivers? This question affects us all, and not just in terms of bathing water quality. It is such an important issue that the federal government and cantons have been monitoring the state of Swiss watercourses since 2011 as part of the National Surface Water Quality Monitoring Programme, NAVA. The results of the studies for the period 2011 to 2014 show for the first time the ecological state of watercourses in Switzerland in a differentiated way. Over the past decades, nutrient pollution has steadily decreased. This signifies great success. The most important factor in this positive trend is the constant expansion of wastewater treatment plants. However, the NAVA results also highlight various deficits. Nutrient limit values are still exceeded occasionally in some water bodies, in particular in streams and rivers that have a high proportion of treated wastewater leading to high concentrations, or in areas where intensive farming takes place. Furthermore, regarding marine conservation, the nitrogen load from Switzerland via the Rhine into the North Sea is too high. Micropollutants, such as medicine and pesticide residues, are gaining in significance. The concentrations are high enough to cause damage to aquatic organisms, and they may have a negative impact on species diversity. In some areas, watercourses can no longer fulfil their essential function as a habitat for animals and plants. Biological conditions were studied at approximately 100 measuring sites, with over 30% assessed as unsatisfactory. In particular, the state of fish was classified as unsatisfactory at approximately three quarters of the measuring sites. Some species have suffered in particular from poor water quality, with stocks having fallen significantly over the years. The biological deficits are due to human activities, such as input of pollutants, engineered watercourses and hydropower generation. Negative results were also identified for aquatic plants and small organisms that live on the riverbed, which, among other factors, has a negative impact on fish. Small watercourses are nurseries for many fish and a refuge for small organisms. They account for approximately 75% of the river network and are being excessively polluted in agricultural zones. For example, through the introduction of high levels of nutrients and plant protection products. The results of the studies show that we have not yet achieved any of the three development goals defined in the guiding principles for Swiss watercourses. Action is needed to assure space for watercourses, to increase water flows and improve quality. Three main measures were implemented to achieve this. A particularly effective measure against micropollutants from residential areas such as medicine residues, is the expansion of wastewater treatment plants. The most important of these plants are now equipped with an additional treatment process that eliminates micropollutants. New effective measures to reduce the input of pesticides into rivers must be implemented to ensure that toxins and nutrients are confined to areas where they are useful. The quality of aquatic habitats must be improved. Near natural rivers and streams shape the landscape and ensure natural diversity, recovery and safety. To perform these functions, they require sufficient space. More sediment in watercourses leads to more aquatic life. Man-made obstacles must be removed to allow bed load transport. Our summary. Healthy watercourses need clean water. 
plus adequate water flows to ensure that the water level is sufficient for organisms in streams and rivers to live healthily at all times. And more space. Only in this way will Swiss watercourses be able to fulfill their important function as the basis for life for people, animals and plants. It is therefore vital to constantly monitor and improve their condition. To find out more or to download the detailed study of the current investigation, please contact the Federal Office for the Environment.